major structures is Hong Kong's Cathay Pacific, which was struggling even before this latest outbreak. Yeah, and, and right now it is in a world of hurt. It was a brutal second half of last year for the airline. Earlier today, it posted a 28% plunge in profit compared to the previous year. This after months of those anti-government protests kept travelers away. And the airline's chairman is now warning of a, quote, substantial loss for the first half of this year. It's all because of the coronavirus, and it is not only Cathay Pacific. The global airline industry is suffering as passengers the world over cancel their travel plans, and governments impose more and more travel restrictions. In fact, according to IATA, the entire sector could lose up to $113 billion in revenue this year. Now, we heard from the president of Korean Air, in a statement to CNN, he says this, quote, our industry faces significant challenges now, and we're trying to minimize sacrifices of our employees, unquote. Uh, the crisis has forced many airlines to make measures and to drastic measures. I mean, Cathay Pacific, what they've done is they've slashed capacity. You know, they've cut all flights by 65% in March and April. Um, and also two weeks ago, Cathay said that 75% of its staff would take unpaid leave, affecting around 25,000 employees. We, we talked to a flight attendant who said that she is taking that offer of unpaid leave, and she's afraid that it could turn into actual job losses for her and her coworkers. But finally, Max, an update. We've learned today that a 22-year-old Cathay Pacific flight attendant has tested positive for the coronavirus. She worked on a weekend flight from Madrid to Hong Kong. It carried an infected passenger on board from Dongguan, China. And this latest infection really is just driving home the impact of the coronavirus outbreak on Cathay Pacific, the flagship carrier of Hong Kong. Max.